morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? I just wanted to hop on quickly. I just got finished walking. I'm about to start working shortly, um, but I wanted to stop and talk about this, you know, because I think it still goes back to how these companies are treating their employees and that they truly, truly don't care about you. They don't care about us. They don't care about me. It's... It is what it is, but I want to talk about this story that I ran across about this young lady that works in Atlanta, Georgia. I, I think it's Atlanta, Georgia, but she's a nurse. She works at one of the VA hospitals there and she was attacked by one of the patients and her company, her employer, they just did her so, so wrong and so dirty. Um, they, when, when, when she got attacked, they wanted her to come back within the next day or so. This woman was truly, truly hurt and they wanted her to come back to work. And my point that I'm trying to make is that, and to be real and authentic about this, is that they don't, these companies, they don't really care for us. They don't care for anyone. They just want you to be there, a body to be there to work. They wanted this woman to jump back into her job after she was brutally beaten and she was diagnosed with PTSD. And her doctor took her off work for 90 days and they debunked that. They wanted her to come in regardless, you know, and she lost money, she lost time. And what does that really say about these companies that we work for? Again, I just think it's a sad situation that we have to endure these kind of treatments on these jobs and working with these companies. A lot of people are having a lot of problems with a lot of jobs, a lot of companies. And, you know, you guys know I talk about corporate life and all of that on how to be productive and things of that nature. Um, you know, I try to stay positive on, you know, on what I present on my videos. I don't wanna be too negative but again, that is the reality of it for some people. Some people are really catching hell on these jobs and they need their job. And like I stated in my last video that, you know, I would never tell anyone to walk off their job or quit, quit a job. Because like I say, we all have obligations, but you have to do what's best for you. Because when you see that these companies truly don't care for you and they are doing you wrong, they're doing you dirty. You just have to do what you have to do for yourself, you know? And I just think it's just a sad situation that we have to go through this on these jobs. And like I always say, you know, try to stay motivated because it can get you down to the point where you just, you know, feel depressed, have anxiety, you know, all of that. Because I have my days where I have to just really take a day or here off because I'm just not feeling it. You know, you run across people that is just, you know, so toxic. And it just, you know, it makes you feel like, man, I don't want to deal with this mess. I don't want to deal with this today, you know. But you just have to do what you have to do for yourself. But, you know, but to stay motivated, stay prayed up, I should say that's the number one thing to try to stay prayed up. You know, because um, if you believe in what you believe in, you know, almighty God, you know, because I know I do, you know, and I have to go to him and pray and do the things that I do need to do for myself to make myself feel better. And I know that he has me, you know, that's all that matters, you know, but I know it can be tough and it is tough for some people out here on these jobs. Um, but I just think that it's just a sad situation how this company did this lady and it just shows us 
shows all of us that these companies do not care for us or about us. You know, they just want a warm body there to do these jobs. And that's pretty much so it. That's it. They don't care about us, you know. But I want you as an individual person to just stay prayed up. Do what you need to do for yourself and not let these companies drive you absolutely crazy, you know. Because it, it can feel like that sometimes. We don't know which way to go, you know. So... I just wanted to talk about that and just if you have not heard about this story like i said this woman she's a nurse who lives in atlanta georgia and she was brutally attacked on her job and the company wanted her to come back to work within the next day or so and it was i mean awful this woman told her story and she was breaking down crying and it was just an awful mess and that's the reason why a lot of people are quitting their jobs and just doing what they need to do for themselves. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that briefly, give you guys some kind of motivation to kind of stay, you know, stay prayed up and do what you need to do for yourself. And yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.